coming to the last few slides of this message. C. Robert Cloninger was an American psychiatrist. Okay, he defined five distinct levels of intuitive awareness. Okay, or awareness he called that, that the whole thing as psyche. So in that there is conscious of being, freedom of will, intuition of truth, aesthetic sensibility or it can be beauty, intuitive goodness. Now it is clearly understood that these represent what it means to be human conscious of our being that our being is connected to the almighty being that is God freedom of will free will bestowed upon us by God intuition of the truth shall discuss that and aesthetic sensibility beauty okay ability to understand music ability to understand art Okay, this and all is unique to humans. And again, it is God gifted. Okay, in music sense, there is uh, something called absolute pitch. Absolute pitch. Okay, so some people, they are able to appreciate music to a higher level. And that is nothing but a God-given ability. And also, there is an intuitive goodness. Let us read. We read or we discussed last week how he, people, our man hardens their hearts and refuse the intuition of the truth and the intuitive goodness. When human rights are violated, no matter how small, it is a slippery slope that will only end in disaster. There have been many instances of human rights violation by the authorities in and around us even at a minor thing even affecting a small number of individuals be aware brothers and sisters it is not gonna end there they are going down a slippery slope and it will only end in disaster philippines chapter 4 verse 8 Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. This is what uh, Paul exhorts us to do. In Philippians, scripture asks us to use our free will to think about that which is true and noble. It is not something like once we submit to God, we lose our free will. No, it is not like that. Once we submit to God, we become more fine-tuned to the wish or desire or the thelma of God and we choose to do it thereby delighting our Lord even more. So it is a choice. Let us read a very key verse. We told about this what it means to be human and also the intuition of the truth. So let us read Romans chapter 2 verse 14 1 4 14 to 16 Indeed when Gentiles who do not have the law do by nature what the law requires, they are a law to themselves, even though they do not have the law. So they show that the work of the law is written on their hearts. Their conscious consciences also bearing witness and their thoughts either accusing or defending them. On the day when God will judge men's secrets through Christ Jesus as proclaimed by my gospel. So when the Gentiles do by nature what the law requires, 
the work of the law is written on their hearts and their consciences also bearing a witness so it is not just something about free will that intuition of the truth justice goodness it is written in the hearts of man but yes many times man hardens his heart and refuses it that romans chapter 2 verse 28 29 a man is not a jew because he is one outwardly nor is circumcision only outward and physical no a man is a jew because he is one inwardly and the circumcision is a matter of the heart by the spirit not by the written code such a man's praise does not come from men but from god so it is the matter of the heart by the spirit it does not come from men but from the lord now dear brothers and sisters after this message about free will let us all resolve to uphold the autonomy of our patients even at times we feel that their choice may be unwise because yes you can give them information you can counsel them but at the end of the day patient should have their autonomy and this is something we should uphold because as we said when human rights start becoming violated it is a slippery slope it is a slippery slope and it will only end in disaster let us all take the responsibility for our actions or lack thereof because of our free will okay we choose to do this we don't choose to do something else and the consequences also we'll have to take responsibility for that accept that okay it is not god's wish that people die of covid it is not god wish that we sin it is our choice and we have to take responsibility for that also let us call upon the living god to reveal his perfect will for us so that we can use our free will to follow his perfect will first samuel chapter 15 verse 22 but samuel replied does the lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obeying the lord to obey is better than sacrifice and to heed is better than the fat of rams i will repeat to obey is better than sacrifice and to heed is better than the fat of rams god bless each and every one of you wishing you another week of a closer walk with our lord jesus amen